In this video right here, I am going to show you the mistakes that you need to avoid in order to be successful with dead givers inside the corrupted dungeon. Those mistakes can either get you killed or just make the fight much harder and last much longer than it needs to. So overall, you want to avoid them. And the reason I'm making this video and I'm showing my mistakes is so you don't have to make them yourself. We are going to approach this issue like this. We're going to take each corrupted dungeon clip and we're going to spread it in two parts. The first part is going to focus on the positives. The next part... Not so much. That way we are going to be able to tell what to do and what not to do when playing Dead Givers. Let's check it out. I did a bunch of really good things during this fight. First of all, I didn't use my F when I didn't need to. Second of all, I countered his helmet with my invisibility. Third of all, look at this beautiful engage. I auto attacked. I have a saying for what happened next. <laughs> the shit just hit the fan and spread like wildfire. Which is not a saying, but you got the point. <laughs> Alright, in order for us to examine the mistakes, it's not worth watching the whole video because to be honest, the first half was perfect in my opinion. <laughs> so it's just worth examining the second half. Let's do that. Where do I start? Even though this engage was perfect, I proceeded to completely mess it up by attacking through his defenses even though I saw his defenses. At this moment, I would have been able to one-shot that guy! Why am I running? I should have just E'd. D, then E. That would have killed the guy, he was already po- Alright, yo, <laughs> I really want you to see this fight. Take a look at this. I see a zippy boy this guy is. I'm terrified of Kyle, but actually running from this guy was the best choice ever because take a look at this. No more run this guy has, I see. Did I just manage to kite the Kyra? This guy had absolutely no defenses at this moment. Why I call them zippy boys this is? Alright y'all, even though I am really proud of the fact that I killed a zippy boy because this is the build I fear the most when I'm doing corrupted dungeons, I did do some great deal of mistakes. <laughs> so let's watch those. Mistake number one, no auto attack. Mistake number two. Do I even have to say anything about this? Did you guys found it? I see no auto attack. I, I can imagine a chat at the police station between me and this guy. This guy is like, Hey man, this guy kicked my ass, arrest him! And I'm like, no, I didn't do anything, what do you mean? Uh, you were in a corrupted dungeon! And the auto attack being there listening and being like, I don't know man, I just wasn't involved at all in this fight, I'm sorry. Alright, let's first start with the good things. I didn't use my F when I didn't need to. I waited through his defenses. Countered his guardian boots with my invisibility. And decided to not push it too far, which is always a good choice. Like if you feel like your stacks might reset when you get close to the guy, just disengage a little. GG smog! Alright, so check this out. When the fight started, I did do the right thing by not engaging with my F, but I was too slow to use my E, so the guy escaped. When I went invisible, it was the right call, I avoided his guardian boots, but I should have stayed closer to him so he doesn't get away, as he did. And again. Check out my cooldowns. Even though I did use my cape in the first place, well, there's nowhere to be seen now. Alright, let's see how this fight went again with focusing on the positives first. First positive, I didn't waste my F, and second positive, I also auto attacked. 
third positive coming in straight after I didn't waste my invisibility. Going invisible is such a lifesaver, but you need to time it right and don't ever forget. With this build, Kyring is your friend. Also, your biggest enemy. Poetic Vogue strikes again! And with that, my friends, that's how I won the fight. Alright y'all, but it's not all rainbows and sunshine. Let's take another look, this time focusing on the mistakes. First of all, as you saw, I just forgot to eat my food up until the last moment. I wasn't ready with the stacks. And I eat through his defenses. Other than that, to be honest, the fight went really well. So hey, smallest amount of mistakes so far. <laughs> Let's see how this one went. The engage was very nice. The invisibility was kind of well placed. To be honest, I avoided his E with that. Well done with the E. And I did plenty of auto attacks this time. <laughs> See, this is why I'm not auto attacking in general, because I just did them all in this matchup. That's my excuse, right there. <laughs> Alright y'all, this time let's watch the video seriously. Even though the engage was really badass. Look at my toolbar again. Do you see an auto attack? Because I don't. The invisibility. Yes, I did avoid his E with my invisibility. But what about his jacket? And would you have a look at this? Your boy just tried to kite a ranged player. And my F. Oh man, don't even get me started about my F. Why did I F with one stack? I mean, GG. I did win in the end. But come on. Alright, let's start with the good things. So first of all, I effed before he got the chance to stun lock me. So that way I was able to unstuck myself from the traps. Number two, I went invisible before he managed to put his E on me. Which is great, like I negated a lot of damage by doing that. Number three, I threw the poison, which I think was a pretty good decision at that time. And last but not least, I waited out his guardian helmet. That gave me the win. It might seem like the fight went really well, and I did win in the end, but I made some horrible mistakes. Let's watch them so we can learn from them. Mistake number one, I've engaged through the traps. That could have ended really badly. Mistake number two, I just wasted my abilities. <laughs> Never attack through your enemy defenses. And mistake number three, check out my cooldowns. No Tedford cape to be seen there. I didn't auto attack once during this whole fight. Alright y'all, before ending this video, I want to show you one more thing I'm very proud of. This was a fight in which I made zero, nada, nichura, zero mistakes. This never happened to me, check this out. Mog, this is very sad, but it's true. This is the only fight ever in which you played perfectly. Yeah, no. Now, if you want to get into that, give us. But the only drawback is the fact that you need to level up daggers to a very high level. Watch this video right here. That solves the problem quite nicely. 